It is early in the morning. The sun is just peeking over the mountain. It's just a beautiful day out there. And I'll just pan around there just a little bit so you can see what the morning looks like because it is spectacular. There is just not a cloud in the sky, uh, which means probably we're looking at another 100 degree plus day. Just day after day after day. But go back over there and you notice you saw some black dots down there. I've been uh, doing a radio show this morning with my buddy Mark Tobin up in Kansas City, Midwest Outdoors. Great people, great people. And seven or eight turkeys came through the yard and they're just about back in the woods right now. You look right there. One of them was walking out on the pier, getting ready to go out there and get in a boat and go fishing, I guess. Not doing a very good job holding the camera there, but I'm doing the best I can. Uh, but you see that that one gobbler there it's in full strut. It's just the middle of July, almost the end of July, basically. Or closer to the end than we are the first of July. And the turkeys are still mating. And one of the reasons is I have not seen any baby chicks around the house. We got hens with no chicks. I was actually commenting to Chris about that this week, that we have hens and no chicks. And the problem in that is the same problem we have with a lot of the, the baby fawns. Uh, coyotes, wild pigs, coons, owls, owls, really bad. Owls are bad about uh, destroying turkeys. They can catch turkeys the size of those turkeys down there, is actually. But uh, but it's just, uh, you can see that one turkey went down and got went down through the bushes there to get, get a drink. Turkeys really don't drink too much, but they do have to have water a couple times a day. And we got actually several ponds on our ranch here in addition to the big lakes. But, uh, but you know, we, I just, it's just amazing how much wildlife is wiped out in the first day or two or few weeks of its life. You know, it's, the wildlife is wild. That's why they call it wild. And it's a struggle for lots and lots of, of uh, for all the critters out there, it's a struggle. You know, we, we talk about those critters and, I don't know. I, I guess it may be a struggle for wild pigs and coyotes and bobcats and owls and all that too. I don't know, but, uh, but it seems like that it's not much of a struggle for the pigs because there certainly are a lot of them. And you know, but everybody's after the wild pigs. Everybody's after them. They, they hunt them for sport and they, they trap them and they do all kinds of things to get rid of them and they, they still are prolific. But you can see right there, that's a pretty good little flock of turkeys. More turkeys coming out of down by the bushes uh, watering than we thought. The turkeys just keep coming out. Uh, I can see at least a half a dozen right there. I think there's a few more than that. I saw come through the yard. Uh, I was on the radio, on the telephone, on the radio, talking to my buddy Mark and did not get to video them until they got down there, but they're right down there by that uh, water scamp. Uh, we got turned over there on the, on the side and they're just kind of enjoying. They they love. They're kind of like the deer. They love the uh, Bermuda, and about the only Bermuda that's growing right now in Oklahoma is some that's being watered. Uh, but I, in southern Oklahoma, northern Oklahoma is getting still getting rain right now. I think it rained up there some yesterday. Lake Ten Killer got up to thirty one feet high. That's how much rain they got. But uh, but here in southern Oklahoma, we just have not had rain, and we have no rain. All right, let's make sure we got sound. Test, test, one, two. Okay, I know you guys are excited. I know you guys are excited. I know you want something to eat. Yeah. Now, I only have two hands. I only have two hands. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. You're so hungry, aren't you, little girl? Yes, you're so hungry. And you are, too. And you, you, you are, too. Hey, hey. You took it away from her, didn't you? You took it away from her, didn't you? If y'all would just let me... If y'all would let me, if y'all would let me, I can hold two in one hand. Y'all wouldn't be such piggies. <laughs> they are piggies. I guarantee you, they act like they've never eaten. We feed them three times a day, and yet they act like they've never eaten. Isn't it amazing? Look at them go. I've got six bottles with me. That's what I've got, six bottles. We just bought a bag of... Milk replacer yesterday, a big bag, yeah, like a 30 pound bag or 40 pound bag or something like 70 bucks. And uh, but they're emptying them out in a hurry. I'm gonna get on there. I'm just gonna got, I got a death grip on it here with my left hand. 
Don't know how I could hold it any tighter. <laughs> and they're about to rip it away from me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I guess that one bottle went completely empty. I guess that one bottle went completely empty. Oh, and, and oh, and little Whitey says, hey, Whitey, you've already emptied. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him standing on his hind legs. They learned to do that at a very young age. I dropped that bottle, I guess. Okay, little Whitey, we'll get another one here in a minute. We'll get another one here in a minute, baby. You see him raise up on his legs like that? Look at that. Look at that. That's where they learn to fight with their legs, too, by the way. Probably. Oh, he's got, he's getting me filthy muddy. <laughs> got mud all over his feet, getting me muddy, muddy, muddy. I just got out of the shower not too long ago, buddy. And here you are. Settle down, Whitey. I have, I have more. I have more. I have more. Okay. Now Lucille says, what about me, boss? What about me, boss? What about me, boss? What about me? That bottle is about empty. <laughs> is this cool or is this cool? This is like the one of the neatest things to be able to do. It's a, it's a big job, though, when you, when you think about three times a day and you're having to mix 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 bottles and everything and, and uh it's it's a it's a big it's a big job it takes a it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of love and uh, you can see that they're not nearly quite as aggressive but they're still pretty aggressive they they like don't know how to stop until their tummy sticking out on both sides until they're sticking right out on both sides but you just look at them right there now they make racks, and several of you su suggested the racks. And they make a rack that uh, they make a rack that you can put the bottles in. You can set the bottles in there, and then they're lined up, all lined up and eaten. And they, they come like I think six or seven or eight to a rack, depends. You can buy different size racks, or you can make the racks. A lot of people make the racks out of PVC and stuff like that. And we could probably do that. I don't really have time to get into too much workmanship right now. You have just absolutely ruined this pair of shorts. Hadn't ruined them, you just got them good and dirty. I said, Jimmy, you get them good and dirty all the time. Don't be complaining to me. You get them good and dirty all the time. See, now, wild child there, who's not too much of a wild child anymore. She's got a wild child name, but she doesn't really have a, a wild child reputation at all, does she? No way, no way, no way, yeah. But now, and, and uh, little Lucille, little Lucille, the little tiny girl, uh, she is, uh, she's still wanting some milk, but she's about to get full. She's not near the size of these other two. Some of you suggested also that, um, the little man, little Whitey, is big enough that he shouldn't be drinking out of the bottle anymore. But if you'll look, Wild Child is actually as big, maybe even just a hair taller than he is. Uh, it kind of depends on how they get spread out down there, but, but, uh, but she's a she's pretty good and wild child uh, yeah and, and, I, and i'm gonna agree with you though first of all i'm gonna agree that probably he is big enough but he just doesn't really have much desire i see now little lucille is kind of kind of had about what she wanted you've been eating so fast you choked yourself didn't you yeah 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 you took a little down the wrong side didn't you yeah 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 don't fall with me well this girl's had all she wants this guy hadn't, but he's, he's choked. Well, let me have some more. Let me wash it down, Jimmy. Let me wash it down. <laughs> it's special. I don't care. I don't care who you are. It's special. It's a neat deal to deal to do it. Come on over here, baby doll. Come on over here, wild child. Yeah, come on over here, wild child. I've got six bottles total. I think I used up all, but I think we're down to the last two or three bottles. And I fed them actually pretty late last night because I, I took some people fishing last night and, and uh, it was like, it was, I don't know, Chris had already long gone to bed. It might have been probably midnight before I fed them last night, so it hasn't been all that long. But they're, they just, they, they really need to get fed three or four times a day and and uh, we try to make it, get them on a habit of three, but we probably feed them a little bit more each feeding than we probably should. But, uh, but you know, if you'll think back, if you'll think back and go back and look at some of the videos with Lucy, when Lucy would walk into the building with those triplets, they would get up and act just like these guys act. 
like they'd never been fed in, in, in ages. And of course now, one thing about the difference in Lucy and me is I just give, a, give them milk until I run out of milk or until they finally just quit eating. Lucy would only give them a certain amount of milk and then she'd just walk away. They'd still be wanting more and she would simply walk away from them. And of course, that's not what, what we do. We go, we run out all six bottles and you know, it was a bottle each, not even a bottle each. And then it was, it was a bottle each, not even a bottle each. And then it was a bottle and a half and, and so forth. And, and now we've got up to where we're, we bring six bottles out here and they make larger bottles too. We bring six bottles out here and, uh, I got one bottle left. It's a small bottle. How about how about you, uh, Lucille? Are you Lucille's eating dirt? Well, no, she's eating a little bit of the watermelon or something. Now we also actually fed them fed them some watermelon this morning. There's a little bit left in there, buddy. Empty it out. It's easier to wash if you empty it out. I think he's about had it. Now he's wanting to love love on me a little bit. Empty it out. There's a little bit left in there. They're just about all of them full now. When they start playing around with it a little bit, Lucille, she says, I don't want any more at all. So it looks like we pretty much filled everybody up. Yeah, see that? Okay, this is a little bit of the fun part here. They want to love on you and they want to be loved on a little bit. See her right there? Give me some sugar there. Now they're full. Their bellies are pooching out all around, all three of them. And they want to hang around, they want to lick on you a little bit and have you rub them like you're licking them. They kind of enjoy this right here. You know, you get on both sides. They really don't like you petting them down around their bottom. I guess they realize the hindquarters are the prime spot of a deer. But they want to love on you a little bit. Come around, you know, get a little loving. Like I said, they don't really like being messed around with the, with the back end, but the, their head and stuff, they lick around, you see them licking each other. And they lick me also, see them licking my hand, licking me, they lick my legs and just just enjoy being around, spending a little time, spending a little time loving. But it gets so hot here in Oklahoma. We made 107 yesterday and we forecast 106, 107, 108 today. The forecast is the same for the next 15 days. We're gonna have a possibility, particularly here in Southern Oklahoma, I think they might've had a day or two in Oklahoma City, which is usually quite a bit, uh, cooler than we are we're usually 10 or 12 degrees warmer than they are just about any time of the year sometime in the real hot summertime we may only be five or six degrees warmer than they are but i think they did have a day or two where they did not make where they did not make a uh, 100 degrees uh, and uh, maybe 98 99 this month of, of july we had a lot of days in june and i think maybe oklahoma city only had one or two days in june over 100 but uh, you see right here they're doing a lot of licking a lot of loving they're thinking about going in and taking a nap that's a great thing to do is eat and take a nap that's why you grow as fast as these guys grow and you can look and see how how wild child and little whitey little whitey's the oldest deer of all the babies i think we have 21 babies in the pen i believe now we may not have that counted exactly right we probably lost a total of four or five babies this year most of those just pretty much right off the bat, you know, and a lot of them have things wrong with them. They're just like humans. Sometimes they're born with some defects. And normally in the wild, they, those deer just end up dying pretty quickly or they're abandoned pretty quickly. And sometimes they're abandoned because they're triplets, which is probably the way this little guy was. And, you know, we never knew for sure, but we thought that perhaps Lucy was a triplet. And, um, and, and, and if she was, you know, she had triplets. So that might mean that Lucille right here, pretty little Lucille might end up being a triplet. Uh, might've been a triplet as well. Might've been why she was abandoned. We don't know, but that the little tiny, she's much, much smaller. Her head is so much smaller. You look at uh, the other two, a wild child and, uh, and little whitey, little man. And you see little whitey, he's up here licking on my arm, carrying on. Uh, but you can see that, uh, they are just much larger than she is, and, and that, that discrepancy will probably get larger as it goes by until they, they reach maturity. Uh, once we, probably another week or so, we're gonna start taking the chance of letting these guys out. I've let little Whitey out quite a bit because little Whitey is, uh, is used to being out. The other two are not, so they, we may not get them back. And once you let them out and you do not get them back, uh, then they've got to make it on their own. And, and uh, we're hoping with Lucy, we were able to, we were able to get Lucy and, 
and uh, put her back in until she got pretty good size. She would go back in at night. We leave her out all during the daytime. And uh, of course, they're smart. They learn things and she finally learned that, you know, I don't have to go back in there at night. I'll just be stubborn and bullheaded. I won't go back in there at night. And, uh, and, and they didn't. So anyway, uh, it just is a special moment every time you feed and you can see they're not, they calm down a lot. They just want to kind of love around on each other and love around on me. And I think all three of them have peed and maybe even pooted, I don't know, but uh, they've all, you know, got rid of a little bit of that. We're not having to wipe their bottoms anymore. They're keeping each other's bottoms clean and no, no, they know how to go to the bathroom now. One of the things that you do in wiping those bottoms in the initial stage is you are actually teaching them to go to the bathroom. They kind of keep each other clean. That's why the deer hurt animals and it works out really good. But anyway, that's a, that's the babies right there. That's a feeding. I thought it'd be a great way to end this video. Uh, hopefully next week, uh, hopefully maybe we get Chris out here and uh, get her sitting in the shade and maybe it'll, it won't be 107 or 108 degrees. We'll wait maybe late in the evening and try to feed them maybe right before dark. Um, and I'm trying to do most of my inside work. I'm trying to do it in the middle of the day when it's 105, 106, 107 and early in the morning, late in the evening, do my outside work. And so, but, uh, but, but so those evening times or the, the, just the hour or so, a couple, two or three hours there right before evening is very precious time-wise in the outside. But I'd like to get Chris out here and let her uh, see. I don't know that all three of them will eat with her, but I think they will just because they, you just see how they just act like they're starving. <laughs> they act like they're starving to death. They kind of like, I act like I like when I get to a dinner table, guys and girls. I sure do love you. Y'all have a great week out there. And we'll be back with these baby deer. And hopefully everybody stays uh, happy and fat and sassy and healthy and grows. Remember, I sure do love you.